usually when I look at my opponent and if he looks yoked like a wrestler, that scares me. I'm like, damn, we got a time limit here. This guy could stuff me because I never looked at myself as an athlete. But if I look at a guy and I think that I'm stronger than him and they're, they're skinny or whatever, that fills me with so much confidence. My first match, I went against a black belt world champion. I beat him, I submitted him, and it wasn't that difficult. I knew I had Hoyler Gracie next. He had won every year he entered. Hoyler was the man. This guy was a black belt when I didn't even know what jiu-jitsu was. I'm like, holy fuck, how did this happen? It was like going against Mike Tyson or something. So I looked at him, he's like a skinny little dude. And I was really confident. I know he's Hoyler, I know he's a bad dude, but look at his body, there's no way. I felt like I could do it. Real quick, I knew that he was a lot stronger than I was, even though he had little skinny arms. Like, this dude is strong as hell. Those little skinny arms. They're like, it's like alien arms or something. He controlled the shit out of me. I couldn't do anything, and there was um, a point in that match where I thought, man, I'm gonna lose, this guy is too strong. I mean, I really didn't think I was gonna be able to pull it off. There was only 30 seconds left, and it was a 10 minute match. I just went off instincts. I didn't even know how I, tapped him. He passed my guard. I put him back into butterfly guard real quick, grabbed the overhook, tried to sweep him. He based out. I grabbed his wrist and then I just shot in for a triangle. And I remember when I closed the triangle, I knew that as long as I cinched my legs up, that there's no way he's going to be able to get out. So I grabbed my foot and I was holding onto my foot like this. I've never done that since. You know, you, you know you're supposed to grab the head and just submit him. And I started like, screaming and shit, I couldn't believe it. I got half him. And then my coach is yelling, pull the head, pull the head. And I pulled the head and with everything I had, he tapped. All I ever wanted was to feel like I felt again when I won the trials. When that match was over and I raised my hands and I couldn't believe it and I was going crazy. Oh, damn. I was so happy. So when Hoyler tapped and I stood up, I walked around the mat with my hand up but it wasn't the same, it was like I was pretending. It's like all I ever wanted was that feeling again, and I got it again, and now I'm acting it out. And then, you know, it hit me a couple seconds later. I collapsed to my knees and started crying. 